This is advanced joint locking drills number three. of our first two, relaxation, tension, and what you have to keep in mind with those is they were static. You have no resistance, you have no movement, and you're basically on the attack. Again, which is good to learn if you're attacking someone, but a lot of times they're attacking you. So here's how I like to do this. I like to start slow. If you just start wrestling with people really fast without any kind of concept of what you're doing and not having done this, you're going to panic and you're going to try and crank on joints and people are going to get hurt. So you have to start from a basic, basic level of resistance. So I'll give you a good example. What he's gonna do is he's gonna push me, right? So he pushes, now look, as he pushes, I wanna flow into this. He pushes me somewhere else, right? I come into something else. He grabs me somewhere else, right? And as we work, work into other things, he grabs me again. So I work into something else. And as he keeps grabbing me and moving, right? I keep trying to find things to go with. And his job is to slowly work grabs and motions and pushes. So what you would like ideally your partner to do is push you sometimes, pull you, grab you, touch you, and move you around. So you get used to doing this while you're under contact and stress. Also what you'll find is it's almost easier because as he pushes me, see how he straightens out and stretches and he just happens because he fell into it, which is different than me grabbing him and trying to put it on him. Probably how you should start it is isolate them one at a time. Like you just work basic grabs. Let him grab you and do this. Grab you and do this. And then what you want to do is grab you and either push or pull you. So as he pulls, you go with the pull. If he pushes, right, I want to go with the push. And you start picking up from there. You start slow, and then you pick it up over time. You add more tension to it, you add more aggression to it, you add more force to it. So you're learning to do this under stress. And then maybe you work something out, right? You have him just push the shoulder over and over again. You know, you work into something like this, or you have him grab your neck, right? So you can go into the neck, or you have him put headlocks on, and you try and slip into headlocks to work into things. And you isolate them one at a time. And then eventually what you want to do is you want to have them just mix it up at random so you don't have any idea what's coming. So that's a good drill to do. And then when you get really proficient at that, what you want to do is you want to pick up the speed and the pace. But again, with people that you know you can work with and you're not going to cripple them. Also with someone who's not going to lie to you and fake grab you. Someone who's let you put them on. I mean, you want a little resistance. The other thing you can do with these is while you're in these drills, if he's grabbing, Right? You can smack him once in a while to set these up. So just because he's grabbing me doesn't mean I can't hit him. Right? And this gets much easier this way. So if I hit him, bang, bang, right? Boom. Now look, there it is. Because I smacked him. Sometimes I won't do that. Sometimes I'll just go into this. Sometimes he'll grab, right? And I'll just work into his tension. Also, you can do this from strikes. But here's the problem with strikes I find. Joint locks aren't meant for every strike. So if he's here and he makes a really long committed punch, right? It's easy for me to do these locks because he did very long, slow things at reach. But if he's a really skilled fighter and he fights in tight, very short, with a lot of bends in the elbow, my odds of grabbing those hands are pretty slim and none. At that point, I have to set him up to get to something I can use. And then these things happen, not because I want them to, but because they do. So as you do this, remember, if you're gonna work strikes, sometimes you may have to strike them before you put this on. You don't always get that luxury of just grabbing someone and putting a joint lock on them. I find it's easier within grappling than it is striking sometimes. But again, when you're learning this, you have to start slow. This is a years and years of, of time doing this. And you can do these drills for 20 years and you learn something new every day. Start off with the really basic ones. The attacks you think you're gonna see over and over again and repetitively do them slow. But do them in motion. Don't just do them statically like we grab, hi-ya, and I grab him, hi-ya, and we do this back and forth, because that's not what a fight looks like. So find good partners, practice, and I promise you, if you do this a lot, your joint locking will get much better. This has been Bill Coney for Straight Circle Martial Arts. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I will see you again next time.